Hi all. Today we're going to be talking about the BR-14 Adjudicator. It's a medium pen assault rifle and it's found on the first page of the Democratic Detonation War Bond. It's a fairly well-rounded assault rifle, it's got high damage for bullet, but it has low fire rate and bad magazine size, so it's kind of more feeling like a DMR in a weird way. Uh, you get 8 spare mags in total, which is quite nicely, but they go out pretty quick, they've only got 25 rounds. Uh, it's closest compared to the Liberator Penetrator, it's your free alternative effectively, it's on the default war bond. And between the two of them, the Penetrator has a bigger magazine, more magazines, and a faster fire rate, but has a lot lower damage for bullet. It's 45 damage on the Penetrator to 80 on the Adjudicator. Uh, between the two, I vastly prefer the Adjudicator. It just hits a lot harder, which is especially important when you're going through half armor, we'll call it, where you're only doing half damage, which was really, really painful with the Penetrator, but still okay with the Adjudicator. Uh, you can manage the lower uh, ammo as well by just using a lot of stratagems or just picking up ammo wherever you can. Uh, regardless of what you're fighting against, the Adjudicator is just good. It just performs. Uh, it's not good at horde clearing because the magazine size just sucks, but because you've got so much damage per round, it puts down small bots and bugs really, really easily, especially if you're going for headshots or weak spots on bots. Against bugs, it's kind of mm, less good, but it does. It, it has a couple tricks up its sleeve as well. Uh, the recoil is really, really shitty. Um, you'll have to run either a recoil reduction armor, or you'll have to switch the gun into semi. Unless you're like me and just use the gun in full auto anyway. Uh, particularly the horizontal recoil is bad because, like, you just can't manage horizontal recoil. So, switch into semi if you're poking stuff at range. You can make it run full auto, it's just risky. So, specifically against bugs, it's really, really good, except for Bile Titans and Chargers, because you can't pen Bile Titan armor, obviously, and you can't pen Charger armor, obviously. Otherwise, you can just blast your guards, you can blast through commanders, and you can blast through Bile Spears. So, but if you're shooting at a Bile Spear with the Adjudicator, you want to shoot right at the head, basically right around the mouth. It seems to be significantly weaker than the abdomen area, and you can put them down really, really quick. You can't do that with the Liberator or anything with light AP. You need medium AP for it, and the Adjudicator is really, really good at putting out Bile Spears quickly. I still recommend bringing impact grenades, of course, to deal with Spears, but in a pinch, it works way better than just shooting at the back of it with a Liberator. Like, it makes Bile Spears so much less of a concern. Um, against bots, it's not as brainless to use. Like, against bugs, you can basically just shoot directly at anything. The facial, the facial armor found on guards and commanders just doesn't matter with the adjudicator, but against bots, there's still a lot of medium armor on bots. You'll only be doing like half damage most of the time. Notably, it's really good against striders because the belly on the striders is really weak. Those are the walkers. The belly area is considered medium, so you can shoot through them super quick. And against Devastators, you can snap the rockets on their back way quicker than with the Liberator. And, in general, against stuff like Devastators or just medium bots in general, you'll do more consistent damage because you're not relying on the head to get the kill. You still want to aim for the head, obviously, because it's much weaker, but you do more reliable damage against them. And, especially against bots, it's sure is shit more reliable for horde clearing than a Diligence. Overall, I think it's a good gun. I think it's really, really nice to have, but I don't think it's worth buying Democratic Detonation specifically for it. It's not that good where you should buy the War Bond specifically for it, but it's a nice bonus if you're going to get it anyway. I wish it had a bit better recoil control. Uh, specifically, I wish it had less horizontal and more vertical recoil, because then you could compensate for it a lot easier. Um, yeah, it's just a comfy gun. The ammo issues really hold it back. Um, I would say for just pure general use, if you feel confident in your aim, I think the Liberator is still a bit better as an assault rifle overall, just because it's so much better against a regular horde clearing next to its larger magazine sizes, and you can still pick, like, bot heads with it. But if you just want a comfy gun, I think the Adjudicator is way more convenient to use than the Liberator, just because medium AP, especially against automatons, is so much nicer to use, and putting down bio spewers is so, so much more convenient with the Adjudicator. I think it's good. I think it's worth your time, specifically if you get Democratic Detonation. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. It's a good AR. It's not going to, like, obviously break the game or anything. It's not that special. So, thank you all. Uh, next review will probably be the MP98 Knight, the uh, premium super citizen submachine gun. And boy, do I have a lot of things to say about that gun. <laughs> so, thank you all, and hopefully I will see you all again another time. Bye.